A transgender weightlifter, after being a biological man for 35 years, will be allowed to compete in women's weightlifting at the Olympics this summer. Is this fair? You be the judge. We'll tell you everything you need to know in tonight's special testicleless report. After somehow dominating competitions recently, New Zealand weightlifter Laurel Hubbard is making very non-binary waves. As the Olympic Committee announced, Laurel will be allowed to compete in women's weightlifting at the Olympics. And for some reason, some people who aren't indoctrinated into Marxism enough to disown objective truth think women's sports should be reserved for biological women only. That smells uninclusive to me. This just in! If you think women's sports should only be for biological women, then you're transphobic. So shut up! End of discussion forever. Most hysterical one wins. These people are likely the same ones that buy into the baseless conspiracy theories that humans have an immune system and that hormones make a difference in the body. Moving along. When Laurel Hubbard was a man, the man that she was was competing in weightlifting and impressively set a New Zealand junior national record in 1998 in the men's category. And this makes Laurel a perfect candidate for women's weightlifting because she's starting on a very level playing field with the other women. How level? Well, Laurel is 43 years old and she transitioned from biological male to non-biological female at 35 years old. So Laurel lived with a male's testosterone level for 35 years, while all other female competitors at the Tokyo Olympics will have lived with a male's testosterone level for exactly zero years. Maybe worth noting, testosterone is the primary hormone responsible for strength, muscle growth, and bone density. Allegedly, all helpful things for weightlifting. What's the difference between men's and women's testosterone levels? Well, from an identity politics perspective, no difference. From a scientific perspective, based in reality, a big difference. If we may entertain objective reality for just a moment, optimal testosterone levels for a woman are between 60 and 100 nanograms per deciliter. Optimal testosterone levels for a man are between 700 and 1100 nanograms per deciliter. That means within optimal ranges, men can naturally have up to 18 times more testosterone than women. Now multiply that by 35 years, and you start to get the picture of the level playing field of strength and muscle that Laurel is bringing to women's weightlifting. Not to mention the fact that testosterone helps you recover faster between workouts, which means an individual can do more workouts more frequently, which gives that person more time working on skill and technique which are essential for the sport of weightlifting. Which means from a physiological perspective, Laurel was capable of doing more for 35 years. Which means from a woke political perspective, we're all the same. Which conveniently really helps level the playing field. But when we leave all this misleading science behind, we realize it would be transphobic to suggest hormones could make a difference here. That's why many trans people take hormones to make a difference in their bodies. This just then! The Babylon Bee reports that a female weightlifter suffers a testicle injury just weeks before the Olympics. We wish her and her testosterone producing testicles a speedy recovery. Uh, I think that's satire. That's satire? Is it? I mean, that seems like a pretty common injury in women's sports. I don't think that's satire. So is it fair for a person who was a man for 35 years to compete in women's weightlifting at the Olympics? Absolutely, because despite all the drastic differences, Laurel is exactly the same as all the other women she's competing against. It's just like, you know how horses run a lot faster than humans? So if a horse starts to identify as a human, it would only be fair for that former horse, now a human, to compete in the 100 meter dash in the Olympics against other humans. Because that horse is now the same as all other humans because it calls itself the same word that humans call themselves. Human. It's that simple. Nobody in their right mind would question this. So in conclusion, as transgender Laurel Hubbard very fairly competes in the Olympics, will she bring home the women's gold? Well, in spite of being the heavy favorite, no. That's because I identify as the gold medalist in women's weightlifting. <laughs> 
And I couldn't be more proud of this accomplishment of believing this is who I truly am. That's it for tonight's breaking news. There's no more objective reality, therefore you are much easier to manipulate. And it's great. I'm gonna go celebrate my gold medal now. Good night. Let me ask you a question. Do you ever see people who they hear something from woke culture and you can tell they don't think it's right, they think something's off, but they're too afraid to actually speak their mind? Well, I know I love speaking my mind because that feels like freedom to me. So I love to encourage other people to speak their mind so they can have freedom. And that's one of the prime intentions that went into designing my merch, to help encourage people to choose bravery over obedience and to remember that fear is not a virtue. I know for me, freedom is my number one value. And if freedom's an important value for you and you wanna help spread the message of freedom and encourage people to choose bravery, not obedience, remind people fear is not a virtue, and help them legalize freedom in their own mind, then hopefully my freedom merch will help you spread that vibe. Each item has been scientifically proven to exist, which means it'll help you spread the message of freedom. Help others embody freedom by checking out my freedom merch at awakenwithjp.com.